Capricorn. It's me, Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to do your guys' May 2021 love reading. Um, I tried to film it a couple weeks ago, and it was acting up and all that stuff. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and just redo it for you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do your guys' May 2021 love reading. Uh, take what resonates. Make sure you like and subscribe if it does resonate. Um, also check for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatch. Sorry, guys. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatch for Capricorn. I'm going to do past, present, and then, like, the near future, the rest of May, for you guys, what is to come in regards to your love life. Okay? Just take what resonates. Always watch with a clear mind. And don't be thinking, you know, that everything's going to resonate if it doesn't. Okay? Let's go ahead and see what happened with Capricorn in the past in love. Okay? Let's see what happened with you guys in love in the past. Let's get three shuffles. And I am using my uh, Housewives of Tarot Tarot deck and the Gilded Tarot Royale. Like two of my favorite decks. I haven't used these in a, kind of a minute, so I'm glad to even pull them back out. Alright, let's see Capricorn, what happened in love in the past. Okay, we have the Three of Swords reversed. Page of Wands, the Star, the World, jeez, Queen of Wands, Page of Swords reversed. Emperor overall in the past was the Emperor. Taking action. Okay, you guys were dedicated to take action in your love life. You guys were moving on from something. There was somebody, I feel like there was some kind of new cycle, new beginning in your life. Okay, there was something new. Something you were very determined to work for. Something you were very, you know, wanting really bad. The world, it was a new cycle. The star here. Okay, so something you've been manifesting. Somebody you see as a wish fulfillment. Page of Swords reverse. I do feel like you cut communication off with somebody or you weren't talking to somebody from your past. Possibly the person that you're moving on from. Okay, I feel like there is maybe like either an Aquarius or a fire sign that you're really like into. Okay? And I feel like you're very protective of this person. You're very... You get kind of jealous over this person. Okay, with the Queen of Wands. You're like, hey, that's my boo. That's my man. That's my woman. Whatever. Okay, you're very determined. Like, this is my person. Okay, which I like that energy. I have Capricorn placements a little bit in my chart. I think I have it, like, in my uh, Pluto or something. All right, why is the Three of Swords reverse in the past? Okay, Four of Pentacles and the Magician reverse. So I feel like you were kind of holding on to something financially. Okay, you were moving on, like, your heart was moving on from something. You weren't manifesting anymore, but you still had the ties somehow to this person. So I don't know if you still had to deal with this person financially or... There's a sense of still kind of having some kind of ties to this person that you're trying to move on from. The Queen of Pentacles, okay? This could be this person still coming around trying to take money from you or trying to... Because you could have been a very, like, strong, independent woman or man, and this person still was kind of wanting money from you or trying to, like, take money. Kind of be kind of greedy, okay? Like, they were still, like, asking for money, borrowing money. You're doing, like, some kind of scrub or something. All right, why is the Page of Wands here? Okay, Page of Swords, there's somebody that you're in communication with or you got a message from somebody, somebody that you have kind of a desire or passion for. Six of Swords, okay, something that you've moved on from though, and there is something new coming in for you after time of moving on, okay, with the star in reverse, but there's still healing going on that you have to do, okay. Why is the star here though in the upright? Okay, the Queen of Wands, there's somebody that you are very like wanting here very attracted to the world in reverse could have been somebody that you guys did have like a falling out with like you guys had a cycle with this person but you guys had a falling out but they were like your wish fulfillment somebody you really wanted okay maybe they're coming back around okay or there is somebody still kind of trying to come back around in your life when you're trying to manifest something new okay because i do see the sun in reverse there's somebody that's unhappy okay or somebody is unhappy about maybe you having a new beginning with somebody here all right, why is the world here? Because we have the world reversed, then the world. So it's like you have a cycle with somebody that's still continuing, and then you have a new cycle with somebody else. So why is the world here? Okay, Page of Pentacles. Somebody's offering you something stable, some kind of money offer, or something of, like, loyalty with the King of Swords, okay? Somebody that's very determined. They know what they want, okay? Six of Wands. Could be somebody that's, like, like a businessman or somebody that's seen by a lot of people, somebody that has money, Okay? Could be somebody that a lot of people want, a lot of people go after, but they are choosing to be with you. Alright, why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay, Ten of Cups. This person could be like your, your person, or at least you feel like this could be the person you have a family with. 
Okay, Four of Cups reverse. I don't feel like you are blocked out from this person. I feel like you are really desiring to this person. You have a desire and feelings, a lot of passion, and you see potential with them. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You want to give them their, your love. Okay, or you're very loving towards this person. You guys could be going on a lot of dates. You guys could be doing a lot of romantic things. Okay? I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to get too in detail. Page of Swords reverse, though. There is somebody that you've cut off communication with. I feel like it's the world in reverse person here. Yeah, the two of pentacles reverse. Somebody you dropped. Okay, there's somebody, like, if you had somebody else, you, like, cut this person off. Seven of pentacles. To work on yourself, okay? Or to have growth in your life. And you feel like this person didn't give you that. This person didn't give you any growth or any clarity. Okay, Ten of Pentacles reverse. This person could have took money from you as well. The person you dropped, not the new person, but the person that you let go of, they were just too much of a weight. Okay, they were dead weight on your back. And they could have just been really unstable, unreliable. Somebody that always wanted money from you. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Somebody that always asked to borrow money. I feel like it's the same person that's the Four of Pentacles right here. Person that's always asking for money, borrowing money. Somebody that makes you unhappy. Okay, but I do feel like there's a new person here that you're very desirable to. Okay. So let's go ahead and see currently what's going on with you guys. What's currently going on with Capricorn. So far I like your guys' reading. So let's get three shuffles for what's currently going on. Alright, let's get one more shuffle. What's currently going on in love for Capricorn? Okay, the High Priestess, Emperor, okay, Seven of Wands Reverse, Ace of Pentacles Reverse, Queen of Wands again, okay, the uh, Hangman Reverse, overall we have the King of Pentacles Reverse, <coughs> there is somebody that you're dealing with that is kind of unreliable or somebody that's, uh, that's not really, somebody you can count on, okay, but I do feel like there is somebody that you still are very attracted to. Okay, so you're really using your intuition at this time. Okay, pain me in reverse. You're getting more clarity on something. Seven of Wands reverse. I don't feel like you're blocking something out either. Okay, could be dealing with the Pisces, Aries, or... Yeah, Pisces or Aries. Alright, so why is the High Priestess here? Alright, the Hermit. Really going within, trying to see exactly how you feel. With the Sun, okay, you're trying to... You're, current, you're trying to go within your soul and see like exactly how you feel, what's the purpose for what you're going through, okay? Could be doing with a Virgo or a uh, Leo. All right, definitely you're taking action on something. What are you guys taking action on? High Priestess, how you guys are intuitively feeling, okay? You're really going from within, like your spiritual self, okay? The King of Wands, and it's telling you take action. A lot of fire energy here. You guys are really determined to make something work, okay? Or somebody's really putting the work for you as well. Okay, because we have the king and the queen of wands. A really strong connection. All right, seven of wands reversed. Queen of wands again. So you guys aren't, like, blocking something. You're not resistant. You're really wanting to make something work. Seven of wands reversed again. So, yeah, you guys are on it. You guys are feeling something, and your soul is telling you go for it, okay? Nine of pentacles, but... You're not letting this person make you feel like you have to be codependent, okay? You're also focused. Not really that you want to be single, but you guys are focusing on yourself. Making sure your money is up how it should be. All right, why is Ace of Pentacles reverse? Okay, Five of Cups reverse. Chariot reverse. Because you're, there's something about, like, you could have a new possibility in your life, but you are trying to, like, move on from any guilt, Okay, try not to cry over spilled milk about a situation from the past, but you're not, like, not able to move forward for some reason. Okay, could be done with the cancer here. There's something that's still not really, like, starting off. It's kind of, like, not progressing yet. Okay, and it might have to do with the past situation that you're trying to move on from. With the devil reverse, could have been something you acknowledge was toxic that you're trying to walk away from. Could be, like, the person from your past, okay? Why is the queen of wands here? What are you really, like wanting to work on ace of swords communication with somebody here the strength okay but you feel like they're holding back or somebody's holding back C communication someone's holding back how they truly feel or where they see this headed could be dealing with a leo the world reversed 
Okay, I feel like you are dealing with this person continuously. All right, why is the hangman here in the reverse? What are you seeing, like, a better perspective on? Okay, the judgment. Like, this is a person for you. This is somebody that's fated to be in your life. Ten of swords reversed. Okay, or you're telling yourself you need to heal from a situation. Or that, that you're over a situation that whatever is in your life now is, like, fated. Because you've healed. Okay, like, you're ready to move forward. With the magician, yeah, like, now is the time you have it in yourself. Okay? Because you let something go. Four of Pentacles reverse. You let something go. You've moved on. And you're ready and determined to make something work. Okay? So I like your guys' energy here. I have Virgo, Leo, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo again, Cancer. Let's see what the other cards. Okay, then I got Pisces, Aries, Pisces again. You guys definitely could be doing the Pisces or a Aries. Go ahead and see what is coming in the near future, the rest of May, for you guys. What's coming in love, the rest of May, for Capricorn? What's coming in the rest of May in love for Capricorn? Okay, Eight of Cups reversed. The Hermit... Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, Three of Cups, overall Ace of Wands reversed. Something's not like starting or developing in the near future because of, I feel like there's something you're not able to emotionally uh, walk away from or detach from. There's a sense of trying to go from within, trying to get more understanding because there's a lot of confusion. Okay, maybe there's like a third party or there's just a sense of wanting to kind of be like around friends right now. Okay, you're trying to still go through some healing as well. With the Eight of Wands reversed, you could feel like you're at a distance with somebody or there's blocked communication. Okay, you could be dealing directly with like a Virgo, a water sign, fire sign, or an air sign. Let's get one more shuffle here. Eight of Cups reversed. What aren't you guys able to detach from? Seven of Wands. Page of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you are like blocking somebody out, but you still are emotionally invested into somebody. Somebody you might be still in communication with. Or you are going to get communication from somebody. The Moon. Okay, somebody has like a lot of hidden feelings for you that they're maybe expressing. And that's why you can't walk away, but you're kind of resisting them as well. Why is the Hermit here? Okay, the star in reverse. Because you feel like you need to take time for yourself because things aren't really going how you plan they are. With the hair thing, okay? Maybe in the relationship you're in or like the situation you see it having potential, but there's also a sense of lacking the direction or it's lacking where you thought it was going to be. With the world, could be wanting things to change. All right, why is the seven of cups here? What are you confused about, Capricorn? Okay, Eight of Pentacles, a death in reverse. Okay, so it's like you're confused because you still want to work on something with somebody. But you're kind of confused as to, like, what's going on. With the Five of Pentacles, you could feel like this person is, like, ignoring you or leaving you out. Three of Pentacles, you could feel like they are, like, putting their time elsewhere. Or somebody's invested into somebody else. Alright, Eight of Wands, reverse. Why do you feel like there's a blockage? Judgment, reversed. Okay, Eight of Cups reverse. You could feel like, yeah, there's a sense of somebody not being able to emotionally walk away. Or you can't emotionally walk away from something. But it's like, you're not really sure if like someone's meant to be or not. With the Judgment reverse. Or if somebody deserves another chance. Okay. With the Five of Pentacles again. So you guys feel like, almost like you kind of want to walk away from somebody but you're not able to. And so you're kind of keeping somebody at a, it's like you're keeping somebody at a distance. Okay. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed? Knight of Wands reversed. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, because maybe you're trying to heal from this person, but you still can't. Okay, maybe this person did a lot of stuff to you in the past that you just can't, like, it still, like, affects you. Like, you're telling yourself you're over something. Okay. It's like somebody did something to you, and it's like, in, in May, it's like you're still reliving it, still feeling the pain from it, the aftermath. Thinking you're over it. Something that didn't have any growth. Okay, it could have been somebody you were invested to. Somebody you were codependent on. 
and they did you kind of dirty. Why is the Three of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Somebody you have a lot of feelings for, but there's a lot of competition. Five of Wands. You could feel like they have you like in a third party, or they just are like seeing other people. There's other people involved. Something with a third party influence is happening. It doesn't have to be another person per se, like romantically, but it could be like family or friends. Somebody here, you have a lot of feelings for this person, but there's a lot of influences. Okay, the justice. You just want things to be fair. Okay, you guys just want things to be fair. But it's like there's just so much going on. There's a lot of feeling like you have to resist something. There's a lot of confusion. Okay, let's go ahead and see what other signs could be coming towards you in May, the rest of May. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, they could have a moon sign of that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius on the other side. Definitely could be doing with a water sign or somebody with water in their chart. So they could have water as their moon sign or like Pisces or Cancer, something here. Let's go ahead and see an oracle card in this for you guys. Okay, so yin in reverse. So you guys are feeling kind of not good. Go the distance in reverse. And it's like you don't want to have distance with somebody. Alright, let's see fortune card for Capricorn. The eagle. Okay, so you will soar towards your destiny. As well as cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Okay, so you guys have to have strength. Okay, soar towards your destiny. Maybe you have to move towards something else for positive stuff to happen. Fool, take a new chance on something else. Okay, let's go and get some uh, romance advice. What advice or romance cards do we have for Capricorn? It is safe for you to love in reverse. Okay, so you guys feel like it's unsafe to love this person. You don't feel secure. There's a lot of confusion. Okay, there is true love and flirt. Religious factors, okay. There is true love here, but you feel like you're not able to love this person or you can't feel safe to love them, okay. So this is a general reading, so make sure you guys like and subscribe if this re uh, resonates with you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.